Hey guys, Kenny Wisdom here. Today I'm going to be trying something a little bit different. We're going to be going on PokemonCards.com, um, a website run by my good friend Adam Capriola of SixPrizes.com fame. If you want to check out Six Prizes, um, I write for them. I'm sure you know what Six Prizes is by now, but be sure to check them out. And PokemonCards.com, I think, is the best way to search up Pokemon cards and you've seen in previous videos of mine it allows you to search by set or type when I was building my Pokemon cube I had to look through every card in that had ever been printed and so I searched by type and stage and it was just really nice to be able to have it all in this kind of Wikipedia like um, information but today I'm discover the random button and we're gonna hit that and then I think just kind of talk about the card I'm gonna call it card of the day um, let me know what you guys think in the comments I'm not really sure how it'll go again this is literally every Pokemon card ever printed in English so let's give it a whirl ooh we have a recent one a Dewat from legendary treasures um I've never actively seen this card before. I'm sure that I've seen it. You know, it's a new card. I've opened packs of Legendary Treasures, but I don't remember seeing it. But the art is pretty sick, as most Legendary Treasures cards are, actually. Um, it's a little muck in the background. D-Watt looking like he's about to throw the shell at a muck. And he's in some kind of industrial plant or, or something where there's tubes with water in them, I think. And actually looks like muck is kind of off to the this whole this whole background doesn't really make a lot of sense unless I'm just uh, picturing it wrong but I don't think that's right because Muck looks like he's falling in some sort of hole and then D.Y. doesn't look like he's even on the same plane but regardless let's take a look uh, 80 HP pretty reasonable for a stage one double weakness to electric makes sense retreat cost of one makes sense no resistance uh, Aqua Tail for two colorless energy or a double colorless energy as is currently legal and standard. Uh, 30 damage, flip a coin for each water journey attached to this Pokemon. This stack does 10 more damage for each heads. So pretty standard. I mean, uh, Samurai has never really seen a lot of competitive play. There was a competitive Samurai deck in the 2011 Worlds. I think Brit Pibus actually played Samurai, and I know other players such as Tyler and Amora were considering it. Um, that was the black and white one, but never really made a splash, and I don't think it ever really got played outside the tournament either, but certainly a reasonable card. You know, you open it a draft, and you're going to play it, attach a bunch of water energy to it. 80 damage is kind of relevant in uh, limited format for Pokemon, so right, let's take a look at the flavor text. Scalchop techniques differ from one D-Watt to another. It never neglects maintaining its Scalchops. Well, I don't know what a Scalchop is, but... It never neglects them. So, let me know what you thought of this video. Follow me on Twitter at KWISDUMB. And uh, subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And let me know what you thought. Thanks, guys.